Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the, the, the behind the scenes of, of Phoenix Jones. This is another behind the scenes like we did for the last behind the scenes and I hope that you enjoy what it looks like back behind these scenes. Um, yeah, so Phoenix came out November 1st. The response to it has been really, really cool. So thank you guys for listening to that and just uh, participating in that and enjoying that in whatever way you are enjoying that. I. Uh, I really enjoyed making this one. This one is super. Uh, if you're familiar with like my older work, this one is really kind of outside of the 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 norm for me. I went some different places, uh, genre-wise and lyrically. Uh, I just haven't played in those spaces before, uh, so it was kind of a an experiment. And um, yeah, really happy about how it has turned out and how people have been responding to it. Uh, so let's let's get into it. What is Phoenix Jones all about? So. Uh, I have a habit of getting in bed at like 7 and then just watching various YouTube videos until I fall asleep. Uh, and I started watching this channel, um, which actually I've pulled several stories from this channel that I, I thought were really fascinating um, that you'll, you'll get to hear moving forward. But uh, the, the channel's called Atrocity Guide, and um, she just kind of talks about interesting people and does these little short video essays or sometimes really long form video essays on folks. and. She did one on a character called Phoenix Jones, and the video, I believe, is titled um, The Rise and Fall of Phoenix Jones. I'll put the link in the description of that video so you guys can check it out. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give you a Cliff Notes version. Uh, the version that they put out is uh, very in-depth and very fascinating, but yeah, uh, Phoenix Jones is a real person, um, a, a guy from Seattle who decided that he wanted to fight crime as a, as a real-life superhero. Um, and kind of went above and beyond what other real life superheroes at the time were doing. And I got a bulletproof vest, uh, actually went on on patrols and tried to come up with a, a team and an actual system for, uh, for, for vigilanteism. Uh, and he was um, sometimes appreciated and loved by police officers and sometimes not, and sometimes loved by the public and sometimes not. Um, and uh, it was just a really interesting story uh, because it, it just took a lot. It takes a lot of tips, takes a lot of turns. Um, there's a lot of tragedy involved in it. There's a lot of loss involved in it, um, and then there's a lot of accusations towards the end of that video that you will see of um, Phoenix Jones uh, dealing in drug trafficking and uh, a little bit of cocaine use. And it's just it's a wild ride. Uh, so I really highly recommend you guys watch that video. Like I said, I'll link it in the description. It is a um, it's a, it's, a, it's a story, it is a tale uh, that's worth uh, in looking into and investigating. It's very interesting. Um, uh, not passing any, any judgment on, on Phoenix Jones at all in this song, just wanting to sort of uh, communicate some ideas through, through his story. So I saw that video and I thought this is, um, this is a wonderful story and I need to make a, I need to make a song about it. Um, so I, I went for it. So I, this will start coming up more and more as this project unfolds. I'm really interested in people who are uh, sort of on the fringes of society, who are kind of out there. Um, it started with an interest in outside artists, which are artists who um, weren't really creating for an audience, or maybe didn't even realize they were creating art to begin with, and they're not really trained, they're just sort of on the fringes of the art community. And so it started off as looking into folks like that, um, and sort of snowballed into just seeing other people who were just sort of... Uh, um, societally different and uh, I thought Phoenix Jones was a really interesting example of that because uh, he's trying really hard to benefit society it's sometimes society is rejecting him sometimes it's accepting him um, yeah I just thought it was an interesting character to write a song about so I decided to write a song and so when I sat down at the at the Nord because of course I wrote it on the Nord the idea was um, if Phoenix Jones had a TV show, what would his theme song sound like? So I wanted to write a very um, superhero sounding song, uh, which is why it's a lot more, a lot faster than a lot of the stuff that I write normally. It's a lot more uh, aggressive, a lot of the instrumentation is really in your face. Um, and lyrics that are just sort of over the top and a little bit over dramatic uh, was really what I wanted to get at so we could kind of get this larger than life um, superhero fantasy, superhero reality, uh, uh, all mixed together, but also accept some of the humanity of Phoenix Jones. I mean, there, there were definitely some mistakes that he made that I think he himself admits to. Um, and there's also some some major 
sadness and dare I say trauma in his story that I wanted to include in the song as well and sort of take us all on a journey. So it starts very, um, very big and bombastic and this is a superhero song and then it kind of makes that turn in the bridge where that there's a piano and cello part. We're just a little bit, a little bit sadder, a little bit darker. Uh, we kind of look at some of the unfortunate things that have happened in the story of Phoenix Jones. And then at the end is kind of just rising up above all that. Um, as I found out pretty recently, actually, Phoenix Jones is still active uh, and didn't let a lot of those negative things in his past prevent him from continuing his uh, his work. So it's kind of the end sort of takes this twist that is a little bit arrogant, a little bit narcissistic, but also a somewhat empowering call to, uh, I'm going to continue to do the work that I, I, I believe that I've been called to do. Um, so that was sort of the journey lyrically that we were going to take with old Phoenix Jones. Um, I put a couple things in there that, that weren't necessarily direct quotes uh, from Phoenix that I could remember, but like just things that were uh, alluded to. My favorite one of those being um, uh, they're just LARPers with sandwiches, which is a reference to um, there were other real life superheroes in, in America at the time, but a lot of these folks were just um, putting on homemade costumes and going to homeless shelters and, and doing charity work, which is not a bad thing at all, it's wonderful, um, but Phoenix, at least early in his career, had a bit of a negative attitude <laughs> toward that type of superheroing, and he did call them LARPers, passing out sandwiches, and I thought that was very funny and I wanted to include it in the song. Uh, but again, watch some interviews with Phoenix, they're great, uh, and I, I pulled some lines from him and also just made up some lines that I think he might agree with. Um, yeah, so I sat down to write it, um, I recorded it on my cell phone, I'll, I'll play that here. Okay, it's just the rough of what we have so far, so I don't forget it while I go to the bathroom. The Pacific Northwest, and I'm doing my best in the Pacific Northwest with a bulletproof vest. Pacific Northwest, putting me to the test in the Pacific Northwest. I'm doing my best in the city of rain, in the city of rain, in the city of rain, in the city of rain. And yeah, the lyric video was just making the Phoenix Jones mask. I just came home and have received the the, the blank canvas for the Phoenix Jones mask, the tabula rasa for the Phoenix Jones mask. This will be the hero that we all want and need for our beautiful shoot. Here he is. Um, yeah, he's just a ski mask that I painted yellow. Uh, my best representation of Phoenix's mask um, and then stuffed it full of um, paper from Amazon and then stuck a, I think it's a Swiffer mop handle uh, yep, it's a Swiffer mop handle uh, up in there. Yep, here he is, Phoenix Jones, the best superhero. This is such a stupid idea. And now we have Phoenix Jones. Uh, yeah, and I just filmed that whole process and made that the, the lyric video. That was super fun. I'm, um, I'm storing Phoenix over here to dry, but I got paint on the wall. Don't tell Kels. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, and the, the music video, I... So the music video is a bit, to me, of a disappointment. There was a lot of stuff I really wanted to do with it, but just ran out of time, ran out of um, uh, energy, I guess, and ran out of just my own uh, technical know-how. There was a lot more that I wanted to do with that video. Um, so maybe I'll revisit it someday. Um, uh, specifically, the ending, I wanted to be a lot more climactic. Um, you know, when the music gets big, the video kind of just starts devolving into chaos and doesn't really tell much of a story there, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. We're here on a rooftop making the, um, the first part of the Phoenix Jones video, and it's very silly. Uh, the, the video did go through some censorship. Uh, at one point, the Phoenix Jones mask um, engaged in illicit drug use, and I decided uh, at the end of the day that that might... Uh, that that was a little bit too far. Uh, I, I didn't again. I didn't want this to be a song that is um, mocking Phoenix Jones or punching at Phoenix Jones. So uh, 
So we cut that part. Uh, it was funny, but it was also funny for the wrong reasons um, and just a little inappropriate. So we cut the drug use scenes right out because that was not the spirit that I wanted to, to have in the video. Um, we were interrupted by people coming onto the parking garage, right Kels? And then what happened? You got embarrassed. Uh, yes, I got embarrassed. But... And then uh, I had some folks that were supposed to be involved in the video, but then, uh, you know, illness and, and scheduling and all sorts of things didn't work out. Um, so you'll see people credited uh, in the video that actually weren't in the video, but I still wanted them to have a part in it. Um, yeah, it was it was just a fun, silly superhero video. Uh, I, I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm happy with it. There's some stuff that I would change in it, but, but overall I think it's... Uh, overall I think it's quite good. Um, in, I think I'd mentioned this in the Berlin video, but you can hear uh, my daughter crying uh, in the background uh, because when I was recording vocals, she was sitting in the studio with me, and it's not like a wailing cry; it's just a really quick little little baby noise. Um, so I wanted to keep putting references to my daughter and things. So if you watch the video closely, not even that closely, you will see her bassinet um, or her stroller just sitting off the frame. I thought that was fun, so we left it. Wait, we're we're gonna record a video, June. We're making a video for the song. Yeah, are you excited? And then the third video was the, uh, the 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 live video that we did, and so that was actually that was really fun because that was the first time any of the music on this project has been played with other people. And I think I said in the Berlin video that uh, everything I do is is solo. You know, I write all the stuff by myself, I record all the stuff by myself, I play all the different instrument parts. Um, so it was interesting to get people to play the song together for the first time. So hey everyone, we're here. I don't have to hold it down because this isn't an Instagram thing. <laughs> we're here at a very nice house to film the Phoenix Jones live video with that very good piano. Um, how do I, can I flip it? Nope. Um, but here's a camera. Here's, here's where the boys are gonna sit. Look at this pretty thing. It's kind of spooky. There's the other camera. It's great. It's gonna be so great. There's Luke Hill. What's up, everybody? He also mastered this track. Well, the the, the studio version. <laughs> and there's Junie, who's the cutest. And Kelsey, who's helping with the cameras. And we're just waiting on our bass player, the story of our lives. So I had my friend uh, Luke Hill, who uh, is part of Luke and Jay, uh, another band here around town. And he he's actually the one who mastered all of the music. Super talented guy. Um, he played the acoustic guitar and did some harmony stuff. And then uh, my friend Matt Webb uh, popped in. Um, everyone in that video, the original uh, plan for it was supposed to be wearing luchador masks, um, but I forgot to bring the luchador masks from home and we had a narrow time window, so we just did it. But uh, yeah, it was really cool to get to play that song with people uh, for the first time. Um, yeah, hopefully get to do that more with more of the releases and try to get some different folks uh, involved with that. and. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like doing that kind of stuff. So we just, we did it, we practiced it once, then we recorded it in one shot. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to the Phoenix Jones video. As th At this point, um, I don't have any knowledge that Phoenix Jones has seen the videos or heard the song. Uh, but gosh, would it be silly if he did. Um, his Instagram is the Phoenix Jones, I believe. Um, so, it'd be cool if you heard it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for listening to this whole spiel and for enjoying um, the uh, enjoying the song, enjoying the video, uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the next thing that we put out.